So, um, good morning, um, good afternoon. I have to uh, wake up you after this excellent uh, lunch. It, uh, it will be hard with uh, wine of uh, Navarra. Uh, and um, I'm, I want to uh, introduce myself, uh, who I am uh, exactly. I, come f I am a neighbor from Navarra because I come from Bordeaux in southwest France. Uh, it can explain my accent and my English. Um, I am the manager of the, of the regional network of tourism offices of the New Aquitaine. New Aquitaine is one of the new regions in France. Is um, as big as Austria. It's uh, 500 kilometers from the south of the, the Spanish border to the north, to Poitiers, and um, there is 150 tourism offices in our region. And I am the chairman of a prospective committee of our national network, Office de Tourisme de France. In France, we have more of 2,000 tourism offices, and we have a very big uh, network, and we have a prospective committee, uh, and it is with this committee that I worked on, on the things that I'm going to present for you. And uh, I teach at the University of Bordeaux, and, um, and I am the editor of a blog about digital tourism because uh, I love digital tourism. And uh, I work in the tourism since uh, 30 years now. And I'm going to, um, to speak about the, the DMO and the French DMO, DMO for Destination Management Organization. And the French DMO, the name is Office de Tourisme. Um, in France, they are a little bit old because the um, first Office de Tourisme uh, have um, around 120 years. So, uh, very particular. Um, structures. Uh, it's an old story because the French tourism offices is a special mix between uh, the public power with um, the local towns who have the power on the on the tourism office, but to um, private economy because the tourism offices in France can make some business, have some shops, uh, um, make some bookings of accommodations or for travel, uh, a lot. Very often in France, the, the DMO and the destination are different. Destination, I, I was uh, happy to learn this, um, this morning that there is no, nobody can define what's a destination. So it's uh, good for me to know that today because very often we have the, the DMO who are organized with the administrative district and not with the destination who is um, known by the tourists uh, themselves. And for each DMO manager in France, the, the same question, I am, am I efficient? Um, why um, this uh, question? Because from uh, 20 years, it was a lot of, uh, of, of things who changed for the, for the DMO. Uh, three big impacts. The first um, are the society impacts. Uh, we spoke about uh, um, sharing economy this morning. And, er when Airbnb and I saw we speak a lot of Airbnb because it's a, a big revolution, uh, all the, the collaborative consumption in our society. We, we had the, the disruption of the internet with the, the mobile who arrive now first. We are mobile first in France uh, for the travel economy uh, since last year. And we have a lot of impacts on the organization of the DMO. For, for one thing, in France we had um, we have less tourism offices now, less DMO, because we have a lot of uh, grouping of towns. The towns were grouping, so we have less organizations uh, and so new um, new structure with new organization. So it's really for the DMO a necessity to measure uh, themselves. Uh, for what? First, for, for the, the shareholders, of the tourism office, the shareholders are some municipalities, the local governments who give some subsidies and uh, who want to have some results. And for the touristic industry, for the, the owner of hotel of uh, camping place, they want to know how is working the tourism office. For the teams, how can you engage your team uh, without measuring the performance of the company? It's, uh, today very important. And for the strategy, if I am a manager of a DMO, it's very important to measure my performance uh, to after can have a good strategy for the destination. 
Um, a point very important for us, I, I try to, to say it in English, uh, and uh, you, you will tell me if you understand what I want to say, the difference between efficiency and effectiveness. Uh, the good result of a DMO can be measured, for example, if you have 10% more tourists, you say oh, it's okay. If you have 10% more of tourist tax, hotel tax, you say it's okay. But it depends of the potential you had at the beginning. If you have a, a new, for example, low-cost company, it's easier than if you have no low-cost. And um, the good results is the performance, but if you compare these results at the resources employed, is the efficiency, uh, the ability to optimize productive resources. This is my, my definition. So we try to uh, work on the efficiency to can compare two different DMO. Because if I am Bordeaux, it's for me easier than if I am entre de mer entre de mer is my rural region where I live, and uh, nobody knows entre de mer here. Everybody knows Bordeaux. So it's easier to have some good tourism business in Bordeaux than in my rural region. And we try to um, put that in, um, in a tool um, that we uh, have built for the, uh, the DMOs. So, our tool, the name is Indice de Touristicité in French, uh, de Touristicité, maybe in Spanish. The, uh, um, I say in English, Touristicity Key. And the, id, the idea is the uh, m measuring the potential that is available to the destination with four sections, the accommodations, uh, the, acti the activities that you can have on the destination, the attractivity of the territory, and the accessibility. Uh, this key was built uh, four years ago uh, by the Office de Tourisme de France Prospective Committee, and uh, we tested you with a lot of DMOs, and today we think that it works, this key. Um, what are these first section? The first is the very classical, the tourist accommodation offer, the number of touristic lodging with the uh, commercial lodging and the non-commercial lodging. For example, a second home is a non-commercial uh, bed, but it's very important um, because you can have an Airbnb inside of uh, this uh, uh, second home, and when you have the family, it's uh, important. And we. We, had, uh, we added the touristic function key. I don't know if it existed all over the country. In France, it's uh, the rapport between the resident population and the touristic capacity. And if you have more of one, you are on a touristic place. If you have 1,000 1, inhabitants, and if you can have more of 1,000 tourists in the hotel accommodation, you have uh, um, a tour de function touristique, uh, touristic function key with more than one. The second section, uh, we organize it with uh, the activities, the entertainment offer, uh, with all with commercial, museum, castle, amusement parks, and all with no um, commercial, the non-commercial places, historical villages, point of view, natural orientation, beach. Uh, For the three first sections, we worked with uh, um, Cruz and Ritchie, um, uh, analysis. Cruz and Ritchie were two uh, university Americans who uh, tried to organize uh, the function touristic in the years 2000. So they have 36 points uh, to measure that. And, okay. uh, the attractivity of the destination uh, it was uh, the, third, uh, the third section. And uh, the fourth, we, if you are World Heritage Festival, so, uh, um, uh, if you are in the Michelin Guide, if you are some stars, it's a section. And the fourth uh, section is the accessibility of the territory. If you have, and, and this point is very important in France, uh, if you have a, a train station, if you have a highway exit, uh, if you have an airport with a low cost company, it's, you have uh, more resources to have some tourists in your territory. And so um, each time uh, with all these sections, there is a number of points. You can see it, for example, on, uh, I put here in this slide 
an example of destination. For example, this destination has between 1,500 and 4,500 beds, so as three points. Um, if you uh, see, for example, uh, um, this um, destination uh, has, uh, for example, a beach, so have 12 points. Um, for the accessibility, this uh, uh, destination as a nightway exit, so it's five points more. At the, um, at the final, when you uh, have this, uh, uh, this sheet with uh, over, you can have a touristy city key with bait of 100 points. The maximal total possible is 115, but after you have a correction, and the tourist EC key is defined between zero and, uh, and one. If you have, for example, 60 points, you have 0 0.6 of tourist EC key. Tourist EC doesn't mean touristic. You can have, because for the political local, it's very hard to say you have only 03, but we have a very nice church and a very nice castle. You can have a very nice lands landscape, a very secret place, but uh, it's more hard for you to have some tourists because you have no uh, railway station, you have no highway, uh, you are not famous uh, all over the world, so it's harder than another destination. You know, it, so it's the difference between touristy city and touristic place. Um, first results, for example, uh, I, I show you three towns in France, three destinations. Um, the most is Mulhouse. Mulhouse I, I, is in Alsace, near Strasbourg, but it's less famous than Strasbourg. So there is not a lot of tourists, but there is a big potential because Mulhouse has a lot of hotels as an airport uh, with, uh, with uh, Switzerland, uh, as a railway station, um, as um, a lot of museums. So for them to have some tourists is here than other places. For example, if you see Nogaro in Southwest with a, a DMO with very nice landscape, but it's uh, not a lot of touristic beds. And the third is Bocage Bressuire. Nobody knows that because it's a very rural area in France, very secret but uh, they have this uh, difficulty. We organize first this, uh, um, I, I look exactly the time uh, I have, oh yes, okay. uh, two minutes. And the second stage we organize after the defined the touristy city key is the club indicator like a board uh, between uh, different uh, tourism offices or we tried in link with the University of Perpignan to assess the performance analysis of the DMO and we used uh, the DEA method with the scientist method uh, with the university to compare um, two um, Productors. You can use this method in all the sectors of economy, and we try it with a group of tourism offices in uh, south of France. So the principle of this method, the DE method, you still have three more inputs than output. Output. So you, uh, you, you use some input. On this example, we had three inputs. The first, the input one, was the, no, the number of workers in the DMO, in the company. ETP in French is uh, the, the name for, for the workers. The input two was the subsidies uh, given by, by the municipality. And the third input, the resource, was the touristy city key. And you have, on the other side, an output uh, the output was the tourist tax uh, was uh, uh, earned on the territory. And for example, if you see this example between two tourism offices, two DMO, the DMO one, the OTA, has the same numbers as the B of uh, workers, 11 people working in the DMO. They have quietly the same money from the municipality, around 600,000 euro, but the tourist is very different. On the first is uh, uh, 90, uh, 09, and on the second is 07. But the second was a less tourist city key and more touristic tax. So the performance, uh, the efficiency of the second tourism office is better than the first. And with that, each one was can 
compare with others. So what's next now uh, to uh, continue uh, our experience? Uh, 30 seconds. Uh, it's improving the touristicity by testing with a lot of destination. Uh, and if you are interested in other country, we can you can try and test our in touristicity key in other country to, to know if it works. Uh, we are going to use this, this method, the EA method, and we are going to proposing a web tool uh, next year to all the tourism office in France to come compare to test its one efficiency and compare itself to others. It's uh, our project. Thank you.